Can I help you? I have an appointment with Dr. McRae. Oh, yeah, please. Come in, come in. Hi, call me Katie. You're Dr. McRae? Were you expecting someone else? Aren't you supposed to be like 65 and wear Earth Town sweaters? Why? Did somebody say that's what it looked like? No, I was just expecting someone older. Oh, um, sorry <laughs> to disappoint you. No, no, you're fine. You're better than fine. You're Dr. McRae. You're a doctor? How old are you? Um, I'm 24. 24? What are you, like Doogie Hauser? Who? Doogie Hauser. The teenage doctor? Um, does he work here? No, never mind. Are you young to be a doctor? Uh, I'm not a doctor yet. I'm actually working on my doctorate. I'm in my final semester of medical school. This is a training hospital. So have you had many patients? Oh, well, my patient history is not something that we can... I'm not your first patient, am I? No, no. <laughs> no, not at all. No. Second? No, 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 no. <laughs> Third? That it is. How are the first two doing? We can't talk about that. Right. So this is, uh, this is training. It's going to be part of my dissertation, yeah. Right. Yeah. So you write about all of this? Uh, yeah, but don't worry, I don't use your real name. Okay. Yeah, so please, have a seat. So, the doctor was filming in on your situation. Yeah. So, how are you feeling? Honestly, I feel fine. I think that's great, considering what you're going through. Yeah, but I tend to internalize everything, so who knows? You mean you repress this coping mechanism? Is that what I do? That's what you just said. Well, when I say it, it sounds cute in a neurotic way. When you say it, it sounds more like an indictment. It's actually quite common. Oh, great. I hate to think I'm anything but an emotional sheep. Anyway, I can't remember feeling so calm in a long time. Oh, well, the, um, that's your body in survival mode. So what you're actually experiencing is shock. I think I'm actually just fine. Right, but that's why you're feeling that, um, that sense of calm. Like, would you describe what you're feeling as a kind of numbness? No. I would describe it as fine. Because actually a lot of patients feel like... I feel great. Mm. That's, that's wonderful. I, I think that's, that's wonderful, yeah. Are you going to keep touching me like that or...? Oh, this? Yeah, it's... it's a bit... I'm just trying to make you feel more at ease. That's going to make me feel more at ease? It's like being slapped by a sea otter. Mm, well, touching promotes trust, so it's actually one of the ways we have to make our patients feel more secure in a stressful situation. Yeah, but this is becoming a stressful situation. Really? Like a sea otter? I mean... It's maybe this kind of better? Well, this is getting creepy. All right, um, I'm sorry, you don't like that. It's totally fine. 